All right, everybody, welcome back to Farm Boys Garage. Today we're looking at a 1993 Chevy Silverado with a 5.7 liter. And we're going to be talking about DTC code 22, which is throttle position, sensor, signal, voltage, low. And I've already took the air cleaner off where we can see right here is your throttle position sensor. It's three wires connects it, a dark blue, a gray, and a black. The gray wire comes from the PCM with 5 volt reference line. The dark blue wire goes back to the PCM with the signal, sensor signal voltage. And then the black wire comes from the PCM as a, a sensor ground wire. So the throttle position sensor provides voltage signal that changes relative to the throttle blade. Signal voltage should ver will vary from about a half a volt at idle to about four volts wide open throttle. The throttle position signal is one of the most important inputs used by the PCM for fuel control and for most of the PCM control outputs. So what will set a DTC code 22? The engine must be running. The throttle position signal voltage is less than 0.2 volts for four seconds. Right. So it's lost. Uh, it's basically, it looks like it's unplugged. All right, so what you want to do is you want to simulate a high voltage or DTC 21. If the PCM recognizes the high signal voltage, uh, the PCM and wiring are okay. And that's going to determine if you got a poor connection or a faulty throttle position sensor. That will simulate a high signal voltage to check for an open in circuit 417, which is your dark blue signal uh, sensor signal wire. So how do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. You're going to unplug the sensor and you're going to jump the gray wire to the blue wire. That's going to give you a five volt line of five volts down the, the blue wire back to the PCM. And the PCM should recognize the highest voltage there and set DTC 21 code. And if it doesn't, then you have a open circuit go into the PCM or a bad PCM. Anyway, this video is for those who do not have the scan tool, which I do not, so I cannot show you on the scan tool. But basically, what you can do is to confirm that you do have a low voltage, you want to back probe this uh, dark blue wire, and you should read 200 millivolts or less, and that will confirm that you do have an issue. The first thing I would do is unplug it because that basically uh, is two point two volts or less will basically just indicate an open circuit. So check your connections, make sure there's no corrosion in here, and then you know put it back, you know clean it out, blow it out, put it back on, recheck it. If you're reading normal voltage now, uh, should go up to somewhere between a half a volt and 1.25 volts. If you're reading that, that's your problem. If you don't read, you're still reading low, then we're gonna continue on. And the first thing we're gonna do is unplug it again. And we're going to take a small jumper wire and we're going to jump the gray and the blue, which would be these two right here where my fingernails are, jump them out. And you should set a DTC code 21 on the PCM. So you want to go back and you want to check your codes. You should have a 21 and a 22. If you have a 21, then you can pretty much confirm that all your wiring is good all the way to the PCM and the computer's working fine. You've got a bad throttle position sensor. Go ahead and change it. If you don't, if it does not, then you have an open circuit. You either have open circuit on the gray wire going coming from the PCM or the blue wire going to the PCM. One of them's open. All right, so to, to be able to narrow it down, the easiest way is to unplug it, put a test, uh, put a meter on the gray wire with the ignition on, you should read five volts. If you do not read five volts, then that is your problem. It's either the op an open circuit or a bad PCM. You're going to have to go further than what I'm going to show you in this video. Do a little more research. Uh, 
can always check at the, at the connection at the PCM, make sure it's got good connection. But uh, chances are, on when you set this code, chances are you either got a bad connection or a bad TPS. So check the connection first, and if, and if it's, everything's good, set that to 21. If that works, replace the TPS. Anyway, I hope it helps you out. If it does, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you have Stay tuned for more.